Visual Attributed String is a tool for iOS and Mac developers that allows you to create stunning text effects for your apps by simply writing text and applying effects to words and paragraphs in the document like you would in any word processing application. Visual Attributed String is the most advanced what you see is what you get editor for attributed strings. In this tutorial, we are going to put together an iOS application's user interface in less than 20 minutes. Here is a brand new visual attributed string document. We are going to create a user interface for a fictional game called Lollipop. Let's begin by typing the title. In visual attributed string, you can quickly bring up the special characters palette by clicking on the characters button in the toolbar. Now we are going to add a Lollipop emoji character. Let's increase the font size. Now we will center the text. We'll select the text and change the font to a custom font named Lollipop. Let's change the font color to something else. Purple looks good. Now we will stroke the text black a bit. Press enter and let's type some text for some buttons. We will type text for three buttons titled, Candy Store, Settings, and About. Let's increase the line spacing of the text. Let's make the font size of the buttons a bit smaller than the title. Now it's starting to look like we got a nice little user interface going. Let's change the background color to something other than white. Alright, now let's use this little design we put together in visual attributed string in an iOS application. Here I have a single view application for the iPhone. In the last tutorial, we created the view hierarchy programmatically. In this tutorial, we are using Interface Builder. In the last tutorial we also used Objective-C, so in this tutorial we are using Swift. So here's our view controller in the storyboard. I'm going to drag out a label and three buttons and place them where I want them on screen. Now, I'm going to open the Assistant Editor to wire up some IB outlets. I will name this label Title Label. I will name this button Candy Store Button. I will name this button Settings Button. And I will name the last button about button. Now that we put together the user interface and interface builder, it's time to get the code from visual attributed string. All we have to do to get the code that we need is select the text in the document and right click. Here I will select the title label. Right click and choose code for selection. Now I just hit Command C and the code is automatically copied to the clipboard. In the view it load method of our view controller class, I paste the code from visual attributed string. Now I simply set the attributed title property on the label to the string that the visual attributed string application generated for us. 
A great way to make sure that the label's frame is large enough to fit its entire text is to call the size to fit method on the label object. Here I will call size to fit on the label object. Now let's set up our buttons. In visual attributed string, let's grab the code for the candy store button. Before I copy the code to the clipboard, I'm just going to click the set variable name button in the upper right hand corner. Let's give this string unique name so we don't have any name clashes in our project. I hit command C to copy the code to the clipboard. Now let's set the attributed title property on the candy store button to the string of the visual attributed string application generated for us. Now we will do the exact same thing for the settings button. Now we will do the exact same thing for the About button. Now all the user interface objects are set up to use the text we created in the Visual Attributed String application. Let's make sure the button's frames are large enough to fit the text by calling size to fit on all the button objects. Now let's run the application. You will notice that everything is positioned too far to the right. That's because when we call size to fit on all the objects, they resize to fit their text but they do not reposition themselves in the center of the screen. Let's override the view did layout sub views method on this view controller so we can place the elements in their proper locations. Here I simply set the title labels x coordinate position to one half of its super views width. Now I'm just going to give all the buttons the same center x also. Now let's run the application again. Everything looks pretty good. I'm just going to adjust the title label's Y coordinate point a bit. Here I use the status bars frame as a reference point to align the title label's Y coordinate position. Let's run the application now. Alright, it looks good. There's one last thing to do though. The background of our application is white, but we want to use the light green background we set up in our visual attributed string document. This is very easy to do in visual attributed string. All we have to do is select anywhere in the document and right click. Now we select background color code. Here I'll just grab the background color code. Now I'll set the background color on our view controller's view. In this tutorial I showed you how you can create an iOS user interface with visual attributed string using Interface Builder and Swift. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful. Visual attributed string is available now on the Mac App Store.